Hello, Zach. I want to let you know why the Soul series is so incredibly important to me. What do you know about it? You probably know that it's hard. You probably know that it's good, that it's, you know, like, technically competent, that the controls are very, very responsive, that the graphics are good for when they came out. They don't hold up to the likes of The Last of Us or Beyond Two Souls or things like that, but they're good, definitely. Um, and you probably know that it's an action RPG, but what makes it special? Well, there, there are some, like, really standout things that help it be good, and I'm just gonna go through those really quickly, even if they're not what makes it super special to me. It has a giant, awe-inspiring world that's absolutely hell-bent on your destruction, which is a really fun place to have an adventure. It reveals its story sort of under the covers. You can read item descriptions and listen to dialogue of NPCs in the environment if you want to, in order to sort of get a lot of the story that's happening. But if you just go through looking for the gameplay, you probably won't really know what's going on at all, because the game doesn't want to get in the way of your enjoying the gameplay, of your exploring the universe in order to tell its story. The things that really make it exceptional to me are the things that happen that make you relate to your character and the choices you get to make that allow you to relate to your character. So let me, let me put this a little bit in perspective. If you're playing Splinter Cell, right, and you're on top of a, on the roof clinging and you drop down and you like choke somebody out, right? For me, that feels really cool. I feel like I'm a badass, but I feel like I'm a badass in a weird way. I feel like I'm a badass because I got to be Sam Fisher, and Sam Fisher is a badass. But I sort of just stumbled upon him. I didn't really create Sam Fisher, right? I'm not Sam Fisher, but I got to be him for a little bit, and that was cool that I got to drop down. In Dark Souls, there's so much customization and so much decision making at every level, I start to feel a relationship with my character that's sort of unrivaled in, in modern gaming. It, it doesn't feel like it's a, a character so much in a fiction story, because you you have the classic silent protagonist a la Gordon Freeman from Half-Life, but that combined with the decision making, it makes me feel like I'm finding my own path through this world. That I'm not Sam Fisher, I'm not my character, I'm just exploring this world through a controller. Which is, it's different and it's unique. Um, and the things that go into that are choosing equipment. So like anything that you find on your way, you can choose whether you want to equip it or not. And that'll change how you look, it'll also change how you act. If it's heavy armor, you'll roll slower. And you'll have more armor, you won't take as much damage when you get hit, but that's that's a choice, that's a trade-off. But beyond just customization of your character, there's immediate decisions that are very pressing. Like, are you going to roll this attack, or are you going to block it, or are you going to try and parry it and counterattack? Well, if it's like a giant monster, and you try to parry their attack, it doesn't have any effect. If a giant club is coming down on you from the heavens, you can't really just smash it aside with your uh, shield. But if it's if it's a swordsman, you can obviously parry. But this is this is all the sort of decisions that you have to make. Is and, and if you roll versus blocking, will you land somewhere safe on the other side of that roll? Will you land quickly enough that you can counterattack and get damage off on your opponent? That immediate decision making and unique enemies in this game demand distinct strategies. So it's not like you can just say I'm going to go through blocking and that's what I'm going to do. No, there'll there'll be enemies that'll break your block. You can't really roll constantly either, because you'll end up in confined spaces or fighting on walkways, where if you just always roll, you'll die. So these very diverse scenarios demand that you adapt your play strategy in order to defeat them. Lastly, there's a lot of different paths through the game. It's very non-linear. When you first spawn into the game, uh, the main game world, I guess I'll say, there's about five different paths you could take. There's no real direction of which one's the easiest which one's right. So you very much so, even if you do end up going down the easiest path, which most people do, you have to discover what it is. And that's not something you find in many games. Most games don't want to get you discouraged, don't want to make you feel like you've failed. This game's not afraid of making you fail because it knows that you're able to learn. Whether you learn slowly or quickly, you're going to learn a lot throughout the course of a Dark Souls playthrough. And all of that's going to culminate in the fact that when you finally beat a boss, or when you finally get through a difficult area, or beat the entire game, you will feel like you did it. You won't feel like Sam Fisher is a badass, you will feel like you are a badass. You won't feel like you found the way through the game that the developers wanted you to find, you will feel like 
against a very intensely hostile universe, you have managed to complete your goal through any means necessary, by your own choices and your own invention of strategies. And that's not something I feel in very many games today. That level of, I did this, this was my path, I have found my way through this, I haven't found the way the developers wanted me to go through this, I've found a way that worked for me, and I've made it to the end by my own wits, by my own skills, by my own reflexes. That's what makes Dark Souls special. I hope this was useful, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. The Dark Souls 2 Beta! The server test, I think it's technically called, is happening this Saturday. It's been said that I should have an invite to it from Namco Bandai. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I love your games. You're awesome. And I can't wait for that. It's going to be so exciting. Look forward to more from the Soul series. As long as it is a series and I am a media cow, I will be covering it. And you can look forward to it. Don't, don't fret about whether that walkthrough will get done or not. It will, absolutely. And I'll see you guys next time.